Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, one of the things that happened uh, during the weekend is that finally, if you had a blocking bug for the Windows 11 for 22H2 because of printers, well, that is fixed now. So Microsoft did say that um, the uh, different uh, blockers for the uh, printing problems that some were having uh, is now managed and fixed. So that means that some of you might actually see 22H2 appear in your Windows updates. So if you check for your updates, you might see the 22H2 uh, available now as an optional update. And uh, of course, this all has to do with the uh, fixing of the printer problems that some people were having on their computers. So slowly they're working on the blockers and uh, we'll see what happens. There is uh, still um, a few blockers uh, for other things. That Intel uh, sound problem is uh, still a blocker for a lot of people. They're, it's a complex thing because it's mostly through the manufacturers that you should get an update for that. It seems that a lot of manufacturers are not pushing updates and so it keeps the blocker there for the uh, Intel sound problem. The other uh, blockers right now for gaming, of course, Microsoft finally acknowledged that 11, uh, Windows 11 22H2 had some problems for some gamers with frame ranks being very low and uh, performance in games having quite a lot of issues and stuttering. The uh, main problem apparently arises from the fact that um, it enables debug mode in the graphics uh, adapter. So of course that puts a load on the graphics adapter. Some people also say that they have seen their graphics adapter stuck at 100% performance even though they're doing nothing. So that is a blocker and so if you're on Windows 11 21H2 and you're a gamer, you probably better stay on 21H2. And Microsoft actually did acknowledge that it's uh, better off not to force 22H2 when it's not showing up on your Windows updates. So this is the state of what's happening with the uh, 22H2 version of Windows 11 and all the blockers that are there. Of course, if you see it, that means your PC should be okay to upgrade without any problems. Uh, so uh, that's up to you to decide. You still have uh, quite a while before you have to be uh, or will be forced to upgrade. So you can just stay to 21H2 if it works well for you. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.